Good morning to you. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. So glad you've joined me on this fine morning. Bill Russell was one of the greatest basketball legends of all time. He led his team, San Francisco University, to, to two NCAA national championships. He was the captain of the 1956 Olympic team, and they won a gold medal. He, of course, played for the Boston Celtics. He was the he was 11 times an NBA champion. He was a five-time NBA Most Valuable Player, 12-time NBA All-Star. He was the NBA All-Star Game uh, Most Valuable Player in 1963, three times uh, All-NBA First Team, and the list of his accolades goes on and on. When interviewed by a radio personality, in the Boston area about his pregame rituals, he made a very unusual confession. He said, this thing is so serious to me and I am, I am so uh, eaten up with you know, what, what the game is going to be like and my effort that I put in. He said, before every game I, I regurgitate, before every game I vomit, uh, taken aback by the comment, the uh, the announcer or the radio personality said, so what do you do if you have two games in one day? He said, I literally vomit twice, once before each game. Now, someone might say that's weird and strange and unusual, but he was so eaten up with the seriousness of what he was doing in his world that he took it so serious that it consumed him to the place and point of uh, affecting him in his body and in his health. And can I, can I say this to you? Um, we as Christians go about our job, if you don't mind my using that terminology, we go about our job as a Christian so flippantly with zero seriousness about it, as if God owes us a favor uh, just to get us to heaven, and that he's really privileged to have us on his team. The truth is, we, we could be much better Christians, and we ought to be scripturally. In the book of Deuteronomy, the Bible said that we're to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, and then he says, with all thy soul. Heart and soul pretty much are synonymous but then he says that we're to love the Lord our God with all of our might. In other words, with every fiber of our being, with all of our strength. That's what the word might has to do with. Then when Jesus was asked in Matthew 22 about what was the, the greatest commandment in the commandments of Moses, Jesus paraphrased by making this statement. He said, well, it would be that thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul but he changes the word in his paraphrase from the word might in Deuteronomy 6, 5 to the word mind in, in Matthew twenty two thirty seven. 37. You would say, what, well, what then is the difference? Well, the difference is that the might by which I do something is controlled by my mind set about it. You see, as a Christian, I have the power invested in me through the Holy Spirit of God to, to be and to do all that I, I, I can and to be more than I can ever imagine. As a matter of fact, Jesus even said this of the disciples when he left here. He said, greater works than these shall you do. In other words, Jesus said, you, you've got phenomenal power in you to go way far above and beyond anything you could imagine. But it's all about your mind. Am I going to put my mind to my might? Let me ask you a question. Is your mind and your might as a child of God equaled and are you operating at fullest capacity? Think on these things today, friend. Have a great day.